Welcome to today's in-depth analysis of UFC 303, where we explore the much-anticipated rematch between Alex Pereira and Yuri Prochaska for the light heavyweight championship. As fight night approaches, let's delve into the card, results, and predictions for each bout. Starting with the main event, Alex Pereira and Yuri Prochaska will face off in a rematch that has fans buzzing with anticipation. Pereira, who won their first encounter via a stunning second-round TKO, enters the octagon as a slight favorite. His striking prowess and ability to deliver powerful knockouts have been a significant factor in his success. Prochaska, on the other hand, seeks redemption and has made adjustments to his game plan, focusing on precision and defense against Pereira's calf kicks. In the co-main event, a last-minute change sees Brian Ortega out due to illness, with Dan Ige stepping in on short notice to fight Diego Lopez. Ige, living near the venue and having fought recently in Nevada, is prepared for this unexpected opportunity. This bout offers a contrast in styles and preparation, adding an unpredictable element to the fight card. Another key matchup features Ian Machado Gary against Michael Venom Page. Gary, who remains undefeated, utilized his superior wrestling and grappling skills to control Page, particularly on the ground. Despite Page's striking advantage, Gary's ability to manage distance and time on the mat played a crucial role in his unanimous decision victory. Moving to the women's bantamweight division, Myra Bueno Silva and Macy Chason are set to clash in what promises to be a closely contested fight. Both fighters have shown resilience and skill in their recent bouts, with a potential victory likely coming via submission due to their grappling abilities. The event also highlights rising stars and veterans alike, including a welterweight clash between Ian Machado Gary and Michael Page which is sure to captivate fans with its striking showcase. Additionally, veteran fighters like Cub Swanson and Andre Philly provide depth to the card, demonstrating the blend of experience and emerging talent at UFC 303. In preliminary bouts, Peyton Talbot's impressive knockout win against Yanis Gamori marked him as one to watch. Talbot's performance, culminating in a swift victory just seconds into their fight, underscored his status as a significant favorite and a formidable force in the division. Jean Silva's knockout victory over Charles Jourdain was a highlight of the evening, showcasing Silva's power and precision. His ability to execute a perfect uppercut that ended the fight is a testament to his striking skills and tactical acumen. As we analyze these bouts, it's clear that UFC 303 is not just about the fights, but also about the strategies, training adjustments, and mental preparation that each fighter brings to the octagon. The night promises a mix of knockouts, tactical battles, and potentially career-defining performances. Now, let's address some common questions fans might have about UFC 303, who is fighting in the main event of UFC 303. Alex Pereira and Yuri Prochaska are fighting in the main event for the light heavyweight title. What happened to Brian Ortega? Brian Ortega is out of the co-main event due to sickness with a high fever, and Dan Ige has replaced him. How did Ian Machado Gary win his fight? Ian Machado Gary won by unanimous decision, using his grappling skills to control Michael Page, especially on the ground. What was the result of the Gene Silva vs. Charles Jourdain fight? Gene Silva won by knockout in the second round with a powerful uppercut. Where is UFC 303 taking place? UFC 303 is held at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. How can I watch UFC 303? The event is available on ESPN Plus 4 streaming with early prelims on UFC Fight Pass. What are the stakes for the main event? The main event features a title bout for the light heavyweight championship. Who was the biggest betting favorite at UFC 303? Peyton Talbot was one of the biggest favorites, reflected in his quick knockout win. 
What are the main storylines of UFC 303? Key storylines include Pereira vs. Prochaska rematch, unexpected changes due to fighter withdrawals, and standout performances by up-and-coming fighters. Who had a standout performance at UFC 303? Peyton Talbot and Ian Machado Gary had standout performances, showcasing their dominance in their respective fights. In conclusion, UFC 303 delivered a series of compelling fights, highlighting both the resilience and the tactical brilliance of its competitors. As we wrap up our discussion, remember to subscribe for more detailed analyses and predictions on upcoming fights, ensuring you stay updated on all things MMA.